Risks to the economy are now balanced, the Fed says, and they're no longer talking about raising rates. But do not expect cuts soon. No change in rates today. And the statement drops the reference to additional policy firming, now saying, quote, in considering any adjustments to the target range, the committee will carefully assess incoming data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risks. But before you buy March futures, the statement goes on to say, the committee does not expect it will be appropriate to reduce the target range until it has gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2%. Officials say the economy is solid, job gains remain strong, and the committee judges that risks to achieving its employment and inflation goals are moving into better balance. Inflation, however, has eased over the past year but remains elevated, the statement says. The economic outlook is uncertain, and the committee remains highly attentive to inflation risks. There is no change to balance sheet policy, nor does the statement suggest any changes are imminent. The Fed will keep the $60 billion cap on Treasury roll-offs and the $35 billion cap on mortgage bonds. The decision today, unanimous. And one other bit of business, the Fed has extended its, tight, its tighter policies on investment and trading to senior staff and any staff with access to confidential information.